Hi, I'm Jane Storey. Welcome to Chi Power Golf Breathing to Win. I've been studying the art of Tai Chi for the past 23 years and have distilled much of the wisdom of this ancient art to help you improve your golf. In this video, I'm going to teach you the ancient art of meditation and show you why it's scientifically proven to be the simplest way you can take fewer shots around the golf course. Before we start though, I'd like to ask you a question and that is, have you ever had the experience of being in the zone when playing a round of golf? Now the zone is that state when you're playing naturally, instinctively and intuitively, where you have a high degree of confidence, you feel a sense of freedom around the course and you know that your ball striking is going to be good. Now most golfers have had that experience of being in the zone, even if it's just for a few moments or just for a few holes. What's interesting is, if you could study your mind and body chemistry when you're in the zone, it's very similar to the mind-body chemistry of somebody practicing meditation. So when you're in the zone, you're breathing nice and deeply, your muscles are relaxed, your body's relaxed, you have no self-interference in the way of negative self-talk in your head, you're feeling free and you're feeling confident. So it makes sense as a golfer, if you want to have more experiences of being in the zone and take fewer shots around the course, that you start practicing the simple ancient art of meditation. And that's what I'm going to teach you. I'm joined now by Mark Griffiths, PGA professional here at Blue Mountain Golf Centre, part of the Crown Golf Academies. Mark's been practicing meditation with me for a number of years now. Yeah, thanks Jane. It really helps me to stay relaxed on the golf course and, and stay in the present and certainly keep in the zone and, and definitely stay more relaxed when I'm playing my golf. So you think that uh, people can stay more neutral when they're under pressure on the golf course by focusing on their breath rather than worrying about swing thoughts and technique? Yes, most definitely. I think that's one of the key areas that most golfers struggle with is a lot of inner interference that stops them playing there at their best. So breathing to win is the simplest way for you to take fewer shots around the golf course and that's because meditation reduces the amount of self-interference you have going on with your internal dialogue. So the simplest way for you to practice is to find somewhere comfortable to sit. You want to have a nice, strong, upright but relaxed posture. Your feet firmly on the ground. Upright but nice, soft, relaxed chest your chin tucked under very slightly and imagining that the crown of your head is suspended from above by a thread. Now the position for your hands is important. Two ways you can do this. One, you can just place your hands on your lap like so. The other way is that you can place your hands at the navel area. This is quite important as well because if you focus your mental attention on the navel, it helps you to breathe nice and deeply and slowly into the body. So this is a posture, strong, upright, but relaxed posture. Feet firmly on the ground, head up, chin tucked in very slightly, nice soft relaxed chest, hands at the navel or hands on your lap. So meditation is purely about focusing on your breathing and the easiest way for you to do this to start with is to count your breath. So as Mark sits quietly for 20 minutes, he's going to count each breath. So he's going to breathe in and count silently to himself, one. He's going to breathe out, count silently, one. He's going to breathe in, count silently, two. Breathe out, count silently, two. Aiming to count the breath from one to ten. What normally happens when people start is they get to about three or four and you'll find the mind gets flooded with thoughts or something will occur to you or something that you need to do. But anyway, try to understand that it is impossible to have your mind free of thoughts for the duration of the practice, 20 minutes. Thoughts will come and go, but your job is to gently but firmly bring your mind back to focusing on your breath. So count your breathing from one to 10. When you get to 10, go back to one. If, you're, if you get distracted and you lose your place, go back to one. But 20 minutes, the duration of your practice, stay focused on the breath, counting your breath. Now I'd like you to do that for the first three weeks of your training. And after that, when you've disciplined the mind to a certain extent, you'll be able to simply follow your breathing with your mind. And what I mean by that is just quietly being aware of yourself breathing in and breathing out. You might choose to focus on the breath entering and leaving the nostrils. You might want to focus on the sensation of your body filling with air and emptying. Whatever feels natural for you is the right way for you. 
But first of all, count the breath for three weeks. And after that, simply follow your breath for the duration of the practice. And that is Breathing to Win. So your pre-shot routine is a crucial moment where you want to focus more on your breathing and less on the technical aspects of your swing. So as you're analysing the shot coming up, try to be aware of your navel area, breathing nice and deeply and slowly, and just taking your time to keep the mind empty, keep your emotions calm and neutral. So as you stand to address the ball, just take a couple of moments to focus on the navel area. Take a few deep breaths, emptying the chest, focusing on the navel, and being aware of your feet in contact with the floor. This clears your mind of swing thoughts, takes away self-interference, and stops all that negative chatter in your head. You may even choose to focus on your breath during your swing, for instance, breathing in to the top of your backswing and breathing out as you hit through the ball. We've all heard the expression drive for show, putt for dough, and putting is really where most golfers let themselves down on the course. But Mark's going to show you how breathing to win really is the simplest way to take fewer shots around the course, as he's going to stay focused on his breathing rather than the outcome of his shot. For the juniors that I work with, they become mentally tough and emotionally stronger around the course just by practicing meditation because it reduces that negative self-talk and self-interference. Professional golfers, practicing meditation helps them to stay neutral when under pressure. And the average golfer that comes to me, the recreational and weekend golfer, by practicing meditation start to take an average of three strokes off their game within just six short months. So if you approach your practice with sincerity and integrity, 20 minutes, four days out of seven, you will knock strokes off your game, you will become mentally tough and emotionally strong around the course, and you will be able to stay neutral under pressure. And learn to understand the Eastern philosophy that stillness is the master of motion.